Hello everyone, today we will discuss a question reflecting on your screen is how does cryosphere affect the global climate? Two key words are there in this question. First is cryosphere and then how it is affecting the global climate. So first we should define what cryosphere is. Cryosphere is a portion of earth surface earth surface where water is in solid state and usually in the form of snow and ice. Now it can be the surface of the sea which is covered with ice, it can be glaciers, it can be ice caps, it can be permafrost area or it can be snow capped mountains. All those areas where this water is tapped in solid state that is called as cryosphere. Now in the given figure if you see there is some water tapped in the glaciers in the form of ice, there is some water in the ice sheets, see surface is frozen or there is a permafrost region. All these sources explain the cryosphere. Now see there are some points given which can explain the impact of the cryosphere. First when I say cryosphere it is a frozen water. Either it can be in polar ice and glaciers already defined which is mainly in Arctic and Antarctic region. Then the effect of this melting of cryosphere on the global climate. First, it will affect albedo. We already know ice is a bad conductor of heat. The sun rays or solar radiation in the form of insulation which falls on this cryosphere without being absorbing it is getting reflected back. Thus, it keeps the earth surface cool. It is believed that 90 percent of insulation is reflected back by the process of albedo. Now, if this cryosphere will melt, albedo will get affected. If albedo will get affected, earth will receive more insulation. As earth will receive more insulation, the temperature of earth will increase. Second, same cryosphere act as an insulator. It will tap lot of heat of the earth inside, will not allow this heat to come into the atmosphere, thus can protect the impact of global warming. The cryosphere will melt, the heat which is tapped below, it will release into the atmosphere. This will be another impact. Global air circulation, we know these planetary winds like trade winds, westerlies, polar easterlies. If I mainly talk about polar easterlies and westerlies, their circulation will get impacted because the pressure gradient will get affected there. So if the wind pattern is getting affected, it will directly affect the whole atmosphere. Third, when I say in terms of greenhouse gases, it play two role. Uh, we know that ocean act as a carbon sink. So there is lot of carbon dioxide and methane which is trapped in the water. When the polar sea surface is completely covered with ice, lot of carbon dioxide and methane is trapped inside. Now when this cryosphere, this ice will melt, this CO2 and methane will release into the atmosphere. As they will release into the atmosphere, they will release more and more emissions. So one way it helps in tapping the greenhouse gases. But if it starts melting down, it will release more and more greenhouse gases, so emission will get intensified. So if more greenhouse gases will come, global warming will be more. Then it will directly impact in another terms, ocean circulation. In polar regions, water is having high density because of two factors. First, the water is cold, so it will try to sink 
and along with this cold water the salt is also coming down thus this cold water at the bottom will spread towards the lower latitudes that is equator thus there is a heat transfer from surface to surface and from bottom to bottom it will act as a conveyor layer but due to melting of this cryosphere this heat transfer will also get affected and this ice covered area which is our cryosphere it is highly prone to global warming the another impact is it can result into the submergence of islands the another impact can be loss of fertile coast because of the melting of this cryosphere water level will rise and the fertile coastal land forms will get submerged under water thus it will directly impact the agriculture these are some of the points which you should keep in mind while explaining this answer but remember one thing it is impact on the global climate so only point should be mentioned in terms of the effect on global climate